Human beings are usually not recommended to swim below 50 meters, but the deepest dive for a human being is actually 300 meters, which is rather incredible. At that depth, the pressure is intense, but that's nothing compared to the pressure at deeper depths. It's hard to believe that anything can survive without being crushed, and yet there are many fish and marine species that can survive at much larger depths and seem to handle the pressure without a second thought. The pressure is all about balance. When human beings are underwater, the pressure that we feel comes from the air in our bodies being compressed. We have air in our ears and sinuses as well as our lungs and blood vessels. Water however is not compressible. Fish don't have air pockets that can be compressed, especially since they don't use lungs to breathe. They are composed largely of water so the pressure differential remains balanced. However, fish aren't the only creatures found at such incredible depths. Some whales, seals and other cetaceans are able to dive to depths of nearly 3000 meters. These creatures do have lungs and vascular systems that are somewhat comparable to human beings, and yet they aren't crushed into oblivion. While some animals live full time in the deep sea, others just visit. Species such as Cuvier's beaked whale commute between the surface of the water to breathe and depths of over 2000 meters to feed. These whales breathe air but their lungs are collapsible, so they don't get crushed when the whales dive into the deep sea. When diving, these whales store the oxygen from the air they breathe in their blood and muscles. They can do this because they have higher levels of hemoglobin and myoglobin molecules which are used to store oxygen as compared to other whale species. So there are a few different ways creatures can survive in the deep sea, depending on whether they are just visiting or live there all the time. In the Mariana Trench, 7000 meters below the ocean's surface lives a fish that is up to a foot long. These fish make a living in total darkness and at crushing pressures that can reach 1000 times more than at sea level. But the Mariana snailfish is not only abundant in this area, it's the region's top predator. In a study published by Chinese researchers, it was found that the fish have gaps in their skulls. This may help the internal and external pressures to be balanced. What's more, their bones are not entirely made of bone but are largely cartilage. This makes them more flexible and likely more able to withstand pressure. Such high pressures can also break down proteins which are important for normal physiological processes. The researchers found that the fish have high levels of a substance called trimethylamine anoxide which is used to stabilize proteins. Most animals have one copy of these genes while these fish have five. However, at even more extreme depths, this molecule can no longer protect fish from the fundamental physiological compression. So there is a depth limit for fish and marine creatures. For those bizarre creatures that do exist at the very bottom of the ocean, study is very difficult as most will die due to a lack of pressure when they are brought to the surface. In other words, certain mysteries of the deep sea are likely to stay that way. That's all for today's video, like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.